Throughout humankind's long story, we have always been travelers. We've traveled looking for new lands. We've traveled looking for new, unique places to explore, to discover, to open up our hearts and our minds and our souls. We've looked for places to relax, sit, chill, have some fun. And we've looked for new worlds to expand our minds and everything else. And now we give you a new opportunity, the ability to travel through time. Welcome to the Gonzalez and Gonzalez Time Traveling Agency, where we make your wishes come true. Well, today you're going to learn about all about time travel and what we do. You look confused. Maybe Mr. G can come in and explain to you how it works. Thanks, Mrs. G. I know what you're thinking. What the hell is this crazy man talking about? Well, thanks to my brand new invention, the Flux Actuator, and this handy dandy little button, we can travel to any time period safe, relatively sound. So, are you ready for the trip of a lifetime? Mrs. G, ready to push the button? Push the button! Push the button! Oh, here we are, back in 1986. And, wait, something feels weird. Why is my shirt so big? And why is my voice off? You're a kid! You screwed up again! I always have to fix your messes! That's so much better. Sorry for that. The frangle must have been loose. It's, I don't know what happened. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Alright, now that we figured this out... Where are you going with the button? Now we can go to our favorite time period. We can go uh -huh. to the Cretaceous and see the dinosaurs. Come on, be awesome. Wait a second. No, 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 come on, Maybe let's go. How do we always end up inside of the forest? What sorry, are you sorry, 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 sorry. All right, listen, we're here. It's cool. All it's right. about 70 million years ago. There's all these cool plants around, the cycads over here. There's also the fl first flowering plants if you were to look down at the ground. And they're killing my allergies. Stop, stop, stop. Pollen hasn't been invented yet. All right, so anyway, so let's keep going. Come on, let's go. Look. Careful, careful. There's giant cockroaches. Careful, careful. Kidding, 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 kidding. Hey, look, over there. Oh, that was cool, wasn't it? I guess, yeah. Ooh, okay. Oh, wait, watch out. There's a... I think we're okay. You sure? What was that noise? What's that one? Another one! Ah! Ah! Sorry, sorry, Every time sorry, we go sorry, to this place, okay, okay, okay. you're trying to get I'm me sorry, killed. I'm sorry. I just want to go home. Please, okay, okay. All right, we'll go home. You want to push the button? You want me to push the button? You push the button. All right. Pushing the button? Push the button. Pushing the button. Oh, oh, jeez, we're back. Oh, yeah, it was interesting. That was fun. A little dangerous, but it was fun. Oh, it's kind of like Jurassic Park, but for real? So, did you have fun? Did you enjoy our trip? Would you like to be a part of our agency? Well, this is what you're going to have to do, Mrs. G.
that shows up. Okay, so basically what your quarter four project is going to be is on the geologic time scale. Okay, if you look in the middle of your reference table, it's the one that's the two uh, reference tables side by side. Um, we are going to be giving you a specific time period. Okay, this project is going to be due on Tuesday, June 2nd. So right here, Tuesday, June 2nd. All right, school ends June 10th. So that gives us plenty of time to be able to actually um, <clears throat> grade your projects. Okay, so the first thing is you're going to be given a specific time period. The big thing about this is, is it's a research based project. Okay. What you have to do is you have to answer the following questions. When did your period begin and end? The atmospheric makeup, at least three of the atmospheric gases that were around at that time period. The average temperature and climate during the period. A map and a description of world uh, of the world during this period with New York marked on it. So that means you're going to have to find a map of what uh, the world look like at your time period and mark clearly on it where New York is. Um, you're going to give us the dominant forms of animal and plant life on the land, the dominant form of animal and plant life in the oceans. Where are the glaciers at the time if there are any? Um, the description of extinction which occurred during that time period. So what went extinct because we know all animals and plants that are around today may or may not have been around uh, back in the day as well. What did it come from? Where did it, uh, <coughs> sorry guys, um, where, like what happened? What went extinct during that time period? How do we know? Okay, um, let's see. What the geological events are that happened? Did we get anything um, created? Was anything destroyed? So on and so forth. Um, you're also going to give us a description of the index fossils from the time period and a description and location of present day rock formations that were created during your time period. So looking at specific rock formations, how do I know it happened during what your period is? Of course, guys, here's the important part. You're going to give us full references in APA style at the end. Okay, you're going to do this in two ways. The first thing is you're going to give us a video. So for your video, you are a time traveler traveling agency. Okay, you, that's what you work for. You work for blah, blah, blah's time traveling travel agency. Okay, you're going to create whatever the name is yourself. So you're going to create a commercial and you're going to use video uh, to do this. You're going to add pictures. Maybe if, if you're during one of the time periods that you have dinosaurs that show up, you maybe a dinosaur shows up. You want to make the video as informative and cheesy as possible. And I'm actually going to post you um, an example of a video that I would have shown you in class. The second part of it is you're going to give us a straight PowerPoint presentation. No, you do not need to be in a video for this. You're just going to put it onto Google Classroom. Here's all the facts. We need pictures. We need references. We need bullet points. Don't give me a full paper for this. All right, guys. So that's pretty much what you're doing for quarter four project. We are going to be having uh, office hours on Tuesday at one o'clock. If you guys have any questions, um, we will post the Google Meet. I'm uh, not the Google Meet. The uh, yeah, the Google Meet in classroom as soon as it gets done. Okay. Hope you guys are all staying safe. And say hi, Raja. Say hi. <laughs>